Okay, so we are going to construct an angle bisector. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go through and let's go ahead. We have our angle here. Let's label a point on here and we will label this vertex right there. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to label that vertex. We'll call it point A. Okay, take your compass and take the pivot point, place it at point A. And now we're simply just going to draw an arc, any arc. It doesn't matter what your radius is on your compass. So you could have chosen any radius. Now we're, we have two intersection points. This is point B. And then we've got another intersection point right there we can label as C. Take your compass. And it doesn't matter if you change the radius at this point. It doesn't really matter. Just keep it the same. So we'll take our pivot point first and place it at point B. And I'm going to draw an arc somewhere around here. You can make it nice and big so that you can make sure you see it later. And we'll take our pivot point and place it at point C again. So we had it at first at point B drew the arc, now to point C, and I'm going to do the same thing and draw an arc. Notice they intersect at this spot right here. Let's go ahead and label this point. We'll just call it X for the intersection point. And basically, you're pretty much done. Now, use your straight edge and connect point A to point X. So we will take this and connect point A through point X, and I have now constructed an angle bisector. So the angle in here, let's uh, call this angle one that we created, and then let's do it in another color, at angle two, so angle one here will be congruent to angle two. And this is your ray AX, which was your angle bisector.